Morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about another controversial species. We always like bringing these up, gets the, uh, the comment section going nicely. So uh, yeah, get the typing fingers ready. Today we're going to be talking about the 74, the mighty sev. Now, scientific name, Polystegannus undulosus. Obviously referring to the lines on the fish itself. And the name 74 is a very, very old name dating back to the uh, man of war sailing ships and the, the lines of gun ports that were laced along the, the, the ship itself. And obviously the lines on the fish representing that's kind of where it got its name from. Or well, that's where they think the name came down from. Now, it's an endemic fish. Uh, you get them from Nizna up to about southern Mozambique. That's where they're going to be, be caught. Now, very important, uh, being an endemic fish, they were previously, back to early 90s, uh, early 1900s at least, they were probably the majority, made up the majority of the lionfish catches. So, any of your boats going out to catch bottom fish would have been 90% 74 coming back in. Back to 19, about 89 ish, thereabout, um, that percentage was down to less than 1%, so 0.8% actually. So it shows you how the population was hammered, not just you had to put more effort to catch the same amount of fish, and then that same amount of fish is diminished to such a, such a low percentage that the fishery was actually closed. The, from 1998 they put a complete ban on 74 and it's now an officially a protected species so not allowed to target them, not allowed to catch them, not allowed to sell them, uh, not allowed to be in possession of them at any point. So you can't buy it from someone else, it's a no-sell species, you can't go down and specifically target them and if you do, if you are caught with them the fines are astronomical to say the least. Um, but yes, get back back to the less legal side of things. Now in terms of the fish itself, sort of a slightly flattened torpedo-ish kind of shape, so a long elongated body, um, quite a meaty fish, not a, not a very flat fish, quite a meaty in cross section, quite a meaty fish, um, sort of a pinky reddy color, um, fairly large eye, got a set of dentures on them, um, just for mainly for eating fish. And they've got these blue and yellow lines going, fairly, fairly large lines running down their body. And then most importantly, a big, big black dot, sort of about a third of the way down the body. Nice big black dot. So, um, let, let's go on to what, what they're going to be eating, that kind of thing. In terms of their dentition and their teeth and things like that, leads you to believe that they're omnivores, which they are. They're going to eat your squid. They're going to eat fish, they're going to eat anything I can really scavenge on. They are prolific predators. It's actually one of the main reasons they've been, they've, they've been depleted so badly. Because if you put a bait down and there's a 74 on the reef, he's going to eat it. They are gluttonous, greedy, and uh, really, really good to eat, apparently. It's also another reason why they've been, uh, been put on the list. The, the, the table fare quality of, of 74 is phenomenal. So they've, with them being such a highly prized fish and it's such a greedy fish, those two going together are just recipe for disaster for a population. But yeah, in terms of size wise, you're looking at a fish grows to over a meter and gets to over, say about 17 to 20 kilos is the up, sort of the real upper end um, of the species. They mature around about 65, so it's quite a quite a large fish. Um, and you're gonna find them down from the shallows all the way down to about 200 meters, but they're really more prominent on those deeper reefs. So the guys doing deep dropping, using the electric reels, or on the bigger 10-inch KPs and stuff, again, dropping down to 60 meters plus. That's, that's the real hot spot for the 74, which you shouldn't be targeting. Now, they are, <laughs> quite a strong fighting fish, nothing like a cracker or something like that, but they do have quite a large tail on them, so they do put up, put up quite a hefty fight. Um, but yeah, back to the legality side of things, you are restricted from catching them, but what they should be looking at, the guys do catch a lot of 74, obviously do put them back because they are a bycatch um, from other species that are being targeted. Um, what really needs to be looked at for these things is something called a slot limit. So that means you're allowed to catch fish within a certain slot, slotted range. So it, 
precludes the, or excludes at least the, the bottom end of the spectrum, so the fish that are undersized, and then also excludes the upper big mature females and mature males at the top end. So you can catch a fish, hypothetically speaking, has to be over 60 centimeters but under one meter or under 80 centimeters, something like that. So that allows you to catch the females or catch the, the fish at least um, that aren't the heavily breeding population. They are the matured population, but they're still in the early stage. So they do get a chance to breed, obviously, so you go over the, mat the mature uh, line. But it's not those the, your big prominent uh, patriarchs and, mat and matriarchs that are in the in the population. Something that they've done with cob as well. So yeah, that's a controversial species, 74. Um, beautiful, beautiful fish. Really a special fish. Also being endemic, it's our responsibility. You don't get them anywhere else in the world, so it's our responsibility to look after them. And yeah, something something that you can you can have on your list, but. Uh, it's going to really be a bycatch, you're not allowed to target them, and if you do catch one guys, please be very very careful, put them back safely. If you can, if it has come up from a big depth, use your depth equalizer, so put it down on a heavy weight to get it down back to the bottom. And uh, yeah, if you are getting 74 in your area, rather move to a different spot, because they are going to be the predominant catch. So yeah, they'll eat anything, but yeah, let's not target them. 74. Cheers guys.